Hey, this is Kevin Zahner, and this is my second uh, vlog post. I know it's May. I realize that the first one was in, like, November, early November, late October. Um, I got sick in November, didn't really get well until about March. Um, that's no excuse, but, you know, it's how it goes. Um, and I've been thinking about what I should really do for this uh, vlog. I know I gotta do it. I know it's good for me. Um, it's good to record things and, and see it and practice this stream of consciousness approach to reflection. Um, I enjoy it, but you know, how how should I focus this? And I thought, well, let's just start with one idea. Reflect on one thing that I've been working on uh, either lately or this year and, you know, just to keep track of how it's going. So one of the changes that I've made this year was uh, the classroom, the classroom setup. So I'm actually in my classroom right now and we're going to take a look at some other things. So I've always had a word wall. Okay, so this word wall has the basic concepts um, and this this time I pared it down to the, the doctrines. The more uh, the the critical concepts that we're going to use from unit to unit to unit. Okay, um, so the desks are a little bit different than they used to be. They used to be in rows. Now they're in groups. Since they've been in groups, sure, the kids talk more, but they also get more done and they do a little bit more social learning. Plus, if one student doesn't understand um, what needs to be done, there's usually another student in that table. Uh, grouping that knows what to do. Plus, I've assigned the groupings myself um, so that they're distributed um, according to, to chemistry and you know ability level. And I'm not, you know, it's not like there's friends sitting with friends and they're you know on Netflix and texting all day. <clears throat> the uh, big feature here for me is the the table. Uh, this table is important. It's important for me to be able to get back here. Um, and and teach from that area because from over here you know I can I can I can have the screen right here I can have all the students but most importantly when I'm sitting down here you can see this point of view I have all the students you know um, on both sides of me they're more likely to come and approach the table and have help plus there's room for more chairs um, I'm, I'm much closer to uh, some of the routines that we work with, uh, some of our analyzing text structures, signal words, our themes, um, historical thinking skills. It's easier to make reference to these things when they're right there behind me. Whether we're doing some, uh, you know, some pre-anticipatory you know, activities, it just makes more sense in general. It's been working out pretty well. So this is my vlog post. Um, uh, for, for this this month or this week, you know, the next one will be when it is um, After so many I'll reevaluate the format and how it's going and what should be done next I'll go from there. So this one was about my classroom uh, one more piece of uh, The classroom that's very critical is uh, the reflection. So these are our reflection questions that we use um, on every assignment uh, that uh, the students want to reflect on they have to have so many reflections um, every every term, you know, usually about at least once a week, because I really think it's important that they not just learn the content and practice skills, but they think about, you know, what they, st where their struggles were, how they overcame them. I mean, that's the thing that they take from this class. They're not going to remember the dates and and the politicians, the interactions among countries, but they're going to remember how they struggled and overcame those struggles. That's my hope, anyway. So have a good weekend.